Okay, um, good morning everyone. My name is Juan Pablo Duque. I am a PhD student in Politecnico in Milano, in Italy. Today I will present you the development that we have been doing in Politecnico about an OGC API for environmental data monitoring. It's a little bit different from what Daniele was doing. Um, so without further ado, because I have very few time, first I will tell you a little bit why we're doing this. Also some of the key features of this API and the case study that we use to validate our implementation and what is the next steps of the, of the research. So first of all, maybe you all know what OGC APIs are. They're basically modern standards for the old, uh, let's say also legacy uh, OGC standards. And they um, allow, enable fa fair access to data. So fin findability, accessibility, interoperability, and reusability. Also, in the context of environmental monitoring, we have that environmental monitoring stations and observations are considered high value data sets by Inspire. So uh, co in the, the countries and the municipalities must provide this data publicly. But many organizations provide this uh, data not as, in non-standardized formats. So uh, this, they, this makes this non, in, non fully interoperable with each other. For this, uh, we implemented an OGC API compliance service. So basically it's a web API. Uh, for serving this environmental data monitoring. It's not for managing the network, but for serving the data. And our use case was the implementation of this, um, say this service for the Lombardy region uh, air quality monitoring service. Uh, some of the features of ROSE API, we have the implementation of the OGC API's common features, environmental data retrieval, EDR, and processes. Um, this is the architecture of the application. If you want to discuss it later, we can discuss it. Um, some of the features is dynamic collections. So one of the key features of this is that you can create collections which are geospatial or non-geospatial, uh, let's say, layers on the fly using a graphical user interface. Uh, we have also an open API, automatic open API document, which means that it's automatically generated from the uh, collections and the open API document is a document describing the API. We have also a processing engine, so you can write your own Python scripts to further enhance or um, create new functionalities to the data store in Rose API. And this also comes with asynchronous and synchronous processing capabilities. We have pagination of results to manage big data sets. We have dynamic configurations, which you can, uh, let's say, tweak certain things of the application, also from a graphical user interface. We have OGC API features and EDR endpoints for managing the visualization and the retrieval of uh, information. And this enables additional metadata and the spatial queries. Finally, we have the interconnected collections, which is something like uh, hierarchical connections um, between collections. So basically, you can have collections that point to other, to other collections using a, a, an attribute. For example, you can have sensor information in one collection, and you can have the sensor observations in one collection, and you can, um, let's say, interconnect this to provide the location information to the observations without overloading the database. A little bit of uh, the case study that we, that we did. Uh, we use ARPA data, which is the environmental monitoring for the north of Italy, for Lombardy region. And we use it a lot in Politecnico. But every time a new researcher comes, they need to relearn everything. Also, the tables are sometimes uh, not standardized, not um, homogenized, the names of the, of the column. They are only, only in Italian, and we have many international uh, researchers. So every time we have to do this learning process. So we replicated the ARPA Lombardy uh, environmental monitoring air quality data sets within an instance of ROSE API. A little bit of the data, we have our observation from 2010 to 2024 and around 1,000 individual sensors. This is the map where you can see a little bit uh, how spread they are. We have more than 55 observations. We also wanted to test how good was uh, our implementation with big data, with a very big vo volume of data, and we have seven pollutants. And we tested four aspects of our implementation with respect to the API that ARPA provides to access their data. Um, basically, we have better results with querying, response metadata, and the processing capabilities, which is something ARPA does not have. But the response times, uh, they are not very good in the moment, so there is a lot of room of improvement uh, for that. Well, we basically, for the querying capabilities, we provide, let's say, um, these spatial queries directly on the observations, which is something ARPA do not provide. We also have timestamps. We have uh, a lot of metadata available, pagination, and so on and so forth. We have um, the metadata. We have link building. That is something very important from the new OGC API uh, standards. 
and the, the, the pagination and more information than the ARPA data, um, the ARPA API. We also have processing capabilities. For example, we, let's say, implemented this aggregation um, script to aggregate the data in monthly or weekly or daily, let's say, observations because this is one hour data. And downloading one hour data, for example, for one month or for one year or for three years for all the sensors can be very, exp uh, very expensive and very heavy. So we have this script for aggregating data and we have been using this in, the, in our research and it's working actually very good. And finally, for the response times, sadly, we are uh, still working on this because there is a very big uh, bottleneck with the technologies that we are using, but there is a, a lot of improvement. And in fact, we tested with respect to the ARPA, date, uh, the ARPA API, and it's not that bad. So there is a very good improvement in there. Um, well, the next steps, the improve, of course, this implementation is still in a very early stage. Uh, we have to do testing and documentation. Uh, also, we are open to contributions because this is launched as open source and uh, say software. We have our GitHub. We have the, the um, uh, also you can tell us your use case to see if actually Rose API can help in what you're doing. And thank you. Let me know if you have any comments later.